you're about to take your microeconomics final exam, you're probably going to get a question like, which of the following describes the prisoner's dilemma? I'm a tutor and I'm going to explain it in this payoff matrix so that you can answer that question correctly and actually understand what's going on with prisoner's dilemma. And before we get started here, if you want to see where you stand for your final exam, I want you to go take my free practice exam in my bio. I've packed it with 25 of the most common types of problems I see professors put on their exams. All right, with that being said, the first thing I'm seeing in this payoff matrix is that this bottom right cell is the best outcome for both Sarah and John. Let's say they've both committed a crime and are being interrogated. If they both stay silent here, they both only get one year. That's the best outcome for both of them. But Prisoner's Dilemma says that people are gonna act in their own self-interest. So what's gonna happen here, we're gonna zone in on Sarah here and then do the same for John. So let's start with Sarah, only look at the blue values here. Sarah is currently staying silent in this cell but she's gonna be enticed to confess and go free. That's her own self-interest getting in the way of this outcome occurring that's best for both of them. So let's keep that in mind there. Sarah is gonna be enticed to confess. All right, now let's zone in on John here. So only pay attention to the green values here. John is staying silent and achieving one year only of jail time. But if John were to confess, he'd go free. So he too is enticed to switch his strategy in his own self-interest. What happens when both of them confess? Sarah confesses, John confesses, they land in this top left cell and actually end up getting more jail time. That is the prisoner's dilemma. When you've got two criminals or innocents in different interrogation rooms where they can't coordinate or collude with one another, they're going to be enticed to act in their own self-interest and miss the outcome that's best for both of them. If they both held the line and stayed silent, they would have gotten less jail time. But because they were tempted with their own self-interest to go free, they actually both ended up with more jail time. That's the dilemma of parties acting in their own self-interest. All right, if that made sense and you like the way I explained microeconomics and legitimately feel like you're about to fail your exam, maybe you've procrastinated or just your professor doesn't make sense, and you're in a spot where you guys save your grade right now, I want you to go check out my microeconomics cram kit in my bio. The beauty of microeconomics across universities is that it's largely standardized. So in the microeconomics cram kit, I'm step-by-step -step walking you through all the core concepts and practice problems that are in this class. This is basically like having me as your tutor the night before your exam. So if you wanna save your grade with me, go click the link in my bio to learn more.